Hey, welcome again to Talk to the Experts. I'm Greg Morgan. With me today is Dave Arnold from Campbell and Halliburton Insurance. And Dave, first, welcome to the show. Thanks. I'm uh, happy to have you here. I know some will recognize your voice, but I'm kind of uh, interested in your story period because you got into Campbell and Halliburton Insurance, into the insurance company, the business, yeah. for good reason, because... You've experienced uh, quite the loss, and now you're almost an expert in this field, literally because you've lived and breathed it. Well, basically, my house blew up. Like, my house blew up. Well, it was the house two doors up from me, that actually, but it was pretty much the same effect. Yeah. What was it, a, uh, a gas leak gas. or something? Yeah. yeah. They figured it in the end afterwards. It was an underground gas leak, and had gone into this home and through the basement and filled this two-story home. And then, they and figure, just for the record, and no yeah. one was hurt. No, and this is the yeah. amazing part. This is back in December of 2014, Regina Beach. People probably remember that. And nobody killed, which was stunning, and no serious injuries. I think there was some you know, little minor things, maybe a few stitches from people, things like that, from yeah. what I heard. But other than that, a no. seriously traumatic incident to well, go through. And it was just, I, it was just one of those crazy things because. It happened kind of late afternoon. As a matter of fact, I was actually literally sitting in this chair when I found out. Yeah. Because we had listeners that were texting in. Yeah. Hey, something's going on over there. We had some pictures. And and then you see your own home in the pictures. And I'm kind of looking. Or what going, was there? That's kind of close to, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, that would be pretty scary to see. Well, and you just don't know what's going on. Yeah. The only thing I did know, thankfully, my wife wasn't at home. Typically, she would have been there, but she'd actually come in to visit goodness, uh, yeah. the girls in Regina. So, yeah. so then, was... uh, again, you're not even in your career of an, uh, insurance as no, you are now. No, no. Uh, um, what's the first thing you do after you, you know, obviously we don't have the time to go through the emotional turmoil that you went through because there is a lot of that, but maybe we could just jump ahead here. So, like, you get to this point where... Where do I even begin? Had you an but insurance you, yeah, policy? But, yeah, but you know what? I mean, I did, and I was really fortunate. My insurance actually was through uh, the brokerage Campbell and Halliburton. It's where I was a client. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and ultimately, it's why I said, boy, I really want to end up working here. But I, I think what people don't understand is that very few people suffer a total loss, right? Which was mm-hmm. what we ended up having was a total loss. Right. But even if it's just a smaller claim... It can still be incredibly traumatic to you and me. And the emotional component of it, I think, is underlooked and overlooked because a lot of times people just don't know. Because I'm at the point where I think when I found out I had maybe a half hour left in the show and, you know, radio code, you (laughs) finish the show, right? Because I'm going, well, even if something's bad, I I can't get out there to do anything about it. So I finish the show. Yeah. And then I'm driving out and I don't know what I'm going to see. I have no idea what's coming, you know, and we're catching little reports, uh, you know, through the station here and everything else. Uh, But you get out there and they've got blocks just absolutely blocked off, firefighters, there's fires. And in the aftermath, the only thing I could think of is this looks like Beirut. That's whatever, for whatever reason, it popped in my head. There was a couch that was 50 feet, 100 feet up in the air in a tree. A plaid couch. I'll never forget the color. This is part of that emotional thing. Yeah. And for clients who have a claim, it can be a sewer backup. It can be rain leaking in, water damage, those types of things. That aspect, because I knew nothing really about insurance back then and wasn't experienced, that emotional component is huge to deal with Yeah. when you're dealing with your clients. A loss uh, is a loss. It, it, yours, it is. a very large loss. But Mine even when something's unique. stolen, you feel, yeah. you know, if someone broke in, you feel invaded. You right? feel violated. Yeah, violated, yes. A- absolutely. So you reach out to your broker, right? And the first thing, as a broker, you want to say, hey, we're going to get this figured out. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. It's the first thing you ask. Are they okay? And then, okay, let's work our way through this process. But part of the process, even for me still, like I remember they were the, I was one of the first they let behind the lines because I had two dogs that Mm. were in that house. I had a little Pomeranian Papillon cross and a little wiener dog. We didn't know if they were alive, dead, injured, no idea. Mm -hmm. So they had an RCMP officer and uh, 
uh, fire marshal took me back to the house. I had to be escorted. And uh, RCMP officer standing in the doorway. And it's cold. I'm thinking, these are little dogs. Maybe they got scared, ran out. If they survived, Mm -hmm. who knows? Yeah. And there's Max, the little Pomeranian Papillon, standing in the front doorway, barking and barking, (laughs) refusing to let this police officer in. And so we knew he was okay. And I kind of scooped him up. And then I'm trying to find Bandit, the little wiener dog. Yeah. And it's pitch black, of course. There's no power. Part of the roof's caved in. Doors and windows have been blown out. Uh, and I yelled for it and no response. And so I said, okay, I, I got to try again because I, I can't go too far in. It's too dangerous. We don't know what condition it is. So I used the command voice. My dad, XRCMP, I heard that voice a few mm-hmm. times over the years. <laughs> and I finally heard this movement and it was crawling. He was coming over broken glass mm-hmm. uh, out of the bedroom. He'd obviously hid in the, in the bed, underneath the bed. Uh, and we got him out. Not hurt at all. Not hurt. Wow. The dogs are never quite the same, yeah. but not hurt. But so that's, and now you don't know where, what you do. What yeah, do you do when exactly. you have this claim? Because you know this is something big is going on here. And you've got to go through all the police procedure and everything in a, in a traumatic yeah. state like that. And I know you don't, how, how soon do you get to calling for help through your insurance? The first thing you do is you make sure everyone's safe. Everyone's okay. Uh, if you can mitigate any further damage, like, in a case like this, it was extreme. But let's yeah. say if it's, you know, uh, a pipe that's burst or something, you know, turn the water off. Yeah. If you can move things out of the way, move them out of the way. Maybe yeah. have your partner or someone else call your broker and say, hey, here's what's going on. Here's what's happened. And then they can mm-hmm. walk you through the process. Yeah. And the process can take time. And it gets really frustrating for people, but it can take time. Yeah. I mean, in... My case, we we had nothing. We had, I didn't even have a toothbrush. And I remember they were looking at the house and going, I don't even own a toothbrush yeah. at this point. I've got the clothes on my back and the vehicle. And I got the dog. So now what do I do? So I talked to my broker, reached out, and they were dealing with me after hours at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, went and stayed at my uh, daughter's place for a night. By the next morning, they'd arranged for us to be in furnished suites, so we had a place to go that took dogs, uh, and we were set up in that sense. They said, look, keep every single receipt. Keep every meal receipt. Yeah. Keep every single receipt just so you've got a record of it because potentially you can be reimbursed for those for types of, of expenses in and, the event and, of a claim. And I know um, I also think, too, of – this is a good point for me to ask Steve. <laughs> I really should take better interest in what's inside my house now in the event something this drastic happens. And well, what do you recommend? Yeah, you know, and we were really fortunate in the sense that we didn't have a fire. So we could still kind of see things once it was safe to go back in. Yeah. So we could say, oh, there's this, there's this, there's this. With the advent of cell phones, with the advent of all these things, take a picture of a closet. Yeah. Once a year, take a picture, like, and videos, oh, and, too. And I guess videos walk are the great because you're trying to document to a point, but really more than anything else, you're trying to jog your memory. Yeah. Because how do you remember, you know, oh, yeah, there was actually three winter coats and, oh, there was the snowmobile suit right. we forgot. Oh, there was these tools in the garage. Yeah, Let's it's so much easier to document in. that, isn't it, now with technology? And, so, and, yeah, and, and, and it, it can trigger things for you because eventually you're going to have to provide a list to the insurance company saying, mm-hmm. okay, here's what I lost. Here's where I got them. Here's yeah. the approximate cost. Well, unless you have a sense of what you've got, it's incredibly difficult. Is that something that we should even do before? Like there are people that are without any insurance at all, might yeah. be listening to this thinking, okay, that's maybe step one. And then I go visit you. You'd probably want to know what we're investing in. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, if even if say it's like, uh, if you're just renting, it's a tenant pack or something like that. If you had to go out and buy everything you own tomorrow, brand new, how much yeah. money would you need? Yeah. Right? And, and that's the coverage you want to look at. But talk to your broker. They can go through all that. All right. Work. We're going to take a break here with Dave Arnold. Uh, you're listening to Talk to the Experts in our second half. It doesn't have to be a daunting task to get home insurance. Insurance of any kind. And Campbell and Halliburton, I'm a customer. I know this <laughs> with you guys, how easy you. it can be. So we'll return with Talk to the Experts in just a moment.